Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. How you guys doing? So, more volcanoes are erupting. The volcano eruptions just don't stop. And there's more and more every day joining. So we have Fernandina volcano erupting and lava flow reaching the ocean and the Galapagos Islands. And the Galapagos are just an incredibly awe-inspiring, beautiful place off the coast of Ecuador. Um, you know, is this ancient Lemuria? Perhaps. It's beautiful. Just a gorgeous area. And so Fernandina volcano is erupting right now. And it's part of the... Uh, it, it's a shield volcano and it's part of the Galapagos volcanic arpeggio and we've, we're seeing this all over we're seeing this in so many different locations and many very knowledgeable sources have told me that the ones that are going to be really effective at cooling off the planet are the ones that are close to the equatorial regions and this is what we have and it's not just this one particular island as we've been seeing there's there's so many volcanoes going off right now winter is going to get so much colder so quick next year is is going to make last year seem like nothing in comparison and so we have another new one going off here we also have a beko volcano going off as well and uh, this one over here is actually off the coast of Russia, just north of Japan, as we can see right here. And we have signs of stirring going on over in Alaska as well. So we're going to see basically volcanoes going off all throughout the Ring of Fire. And then we're going to start to see some of the other ancient volcanoes that haven't been that active say over in Italy and over in the Mediterranean waking up as well and perhaps this is saving us from these six and sevens and eights as far as the actual earthquakes go but the volcanoes are going to contribute to the rapid global cooling that is starting to get to be seriously obvious yes many areas are still having intense heat um, you know, it's it's been normal down here now the last week or so. Temperatures in the low 90s. Uh, but in so many areas, it's still very abnormally cool. As I'm talking to people in Ohio, I'm talking to people in Minnesota, I'm talking to people up through the Dakotas and, and over into Washington and Maine and not just in the United States, but just in the whole northern tier lots of cool temperatures lots of abnormally cool temperatures and we're seeing it in Alaska with a lot of snowfall as well as as Canada as you know as far as the snowfall goes and that is really disrupting the crops and it's going to affect our food supply it, there's just no doubt about this this is part of what's coming and we saw the strong eruption at Sacagawea as well that happened yesterday and, and a big eruption. So Sacagawea, along with what happened down in, uh, you know, down in Central America as well with Guatemala. I mean, those are those are eruptions that, in and of themselves, can definitely cool the planet to a degree. And that's what's happening. And we have them coming off in all sorts of different areas. This is just June. You know, we are now as I'm doing this into June seventeenth wait till August comes it's only going to increase my friends so make your plans and actually you know even though we're just putting our feet into summer get ready for winter prepare for winter think about you know think about all the things we've been talking about food water all the basics I I don't feel personally and perhaps it's just where I'm located. I've actually felt less worried down here lately than I have in the past. And, you know, perhaps it's because the dangers that we're facing are kind of changing as we go. 
And one of the dangers that we're really facing is going to be the cold temperatures and the lack of food. And you want to be somewhere where you could actually grow food as, as well as somewhere where it's not going to be so cold that if you were not able to keep yourself warm with a fire with, you know, a cord of wood that's sitting in the backyard right now with uh, propane, perhaps, because, you know, think again in terms of when the when the grid goes down and you have no electric supply to you, what are you going to do? Well, if you're in somewhere that's warmer, at least you're going to not freeze to death. So that is something to keep in mind. Of course, when we lose the grid, we're not going to be able to communicate. And that's going to be very disconcerting for, for some. And it will be for me, too. You know, it's, it's going to feel so weird when I can't communicate to you guys and can't get feedback from how everybody's doing in all these different corners of the globe. And uh, I will reach out to you in other ways. And that's part of the going within and developing your own intuitive abilities. And that is every bit as real as what we have on the internet, if not more real. And that's where our future lies. It's in developing our abilities to communicate without the internet, without cell phones, without any technology, because it's inbuilt in us. And it's something that has been taken from us in many ways and respects. And we will, we will regain these abilities and we're gonna go past where we were in the past. So not only are we gonna regain, but we're gonna go beyond that. And I so encourage you guys, please do check out my videos that I have put up on meditation, on Qigong. I'll put some more up. We're going to do some more as well. But they really can help you so much. If you have any sort of chronic pain, learn Qigong, learn, learn meditation. We could really overcome so many basic things. And we will all grow much more intuitive together as these energies, these cosmic energies penetrate into the earth and into us. We're getting bombarded with neutrinos all the time. Energetic particles are just flowing right through our bodies every second as we speak, as we think, every single moment. And realize we're all going to get tied closer together. We're all going to become much more aware of each other in every way, shape, and form, because the age that we're going into is the age that we've been in before, before the fall of the Tower of Babel. Think about that again. Look, the world is united and they are as one. And they are building a tower up to the heavens. Who knows what they can do? Come, let us go down there and scatter them all over the face of the earth and let us confuse their languages. So, perhaps, the confusing of the languages was our losing our ability to basically read each other's thoughts. As well as the fact that perhaps we have one common mother tongue. But the Taoist legends talk about a time when man was as the gods themselves. We had all the abilities that the gods did. And so the gods inhibited our abilities by placing blockages in between our chakras and cutting us off from the higher realms. And perhaps those gods are the same beings that are guiding the Illuminati and the Cabal today. The same draconian, reptilian forms of life that rule this planet right now. But you know what? Their hold is falling apart and they cannot control it. They cannot keep it. They are losing us as we are coming online. Our DNA is awakening. Our abilities are increasing. We are regaining things that they kept from us for millennia. And we are going to grow above and beyond where they can go. So, 
in one sense, bring on the earth changes. Bring on the solar flash. Bring on the event. Perhaps you guys have heard of the event. It's going to be that which throws all the technology we have into the junk heap. And also, it's going to be that which propels us into the new era. It's going to be the end of the system of tyranny and enslavement that we have been in. The event is going to expose everything. And we will talk more about that in a later video. But many think the event is just around the corner. It literally could be weeks or months away. It's going to send the world back into what appears to be the Stone Age. But it's going to also awaken dormant and latent abilities in you and me. And it's going to change us now and forever. In a much more positive way. So my friends, this is a, a quick one, an abbreviated one. I just wanted to get you up to date with what's going on as far as the volcanoes and touch base. As always, please do thumbs up to support the channel. Please do subscribe and click the bell so you get all the updates and share with as many people as possible because people that are awake and alert and are expecting are not as dangerous as those that are totally in the dark. And the times that are coming up, we need to wake up as many as possible so the, the bulk of people are not panicking and not having no clue as to what's going on. And as always, my friends, much love, light, peace, and abundance to you guys. May you be blessed with all good things. And may you always be protected and guided into the highest path possible. Love, light, peace, abundance, and well-being to you all and all your families. God bless and namaste, my friends.